You think smaller guy, smaller hands. Not as easy to catch the football. Right side run for Hawkins. That's another first down. Stop at the 34. That's a gain of 11. Jordan, thank you very much. What an upset win on the road for Jeff Collins and company. And here's another Louisville touchdown. You see just great movement. Everyone moving together. You look at that offensive line. And then just one little crease is all Hawkins needs. Second grab for Des Fitzpatrick, fifth year senior from Michigan. Hawkins probing the right side. He'll have another Louisville first down. Plunging across the 30. Almost 350 yards through the air. 21 more on the ground. Hawkins tries to pop it outside. He'll pick up the first down at the 14-yard line. Second down. Hawkins finds a crease, breaks a tackle, and lowers the head. He's right near the marker. Hawkins is lined up. Eight yards behind the line. They need just inches here. They feed it to him, and he hurdles for a first down. They didn't know 30, they 38, right? <laughs> yeah, 38. 37. Hawkins, a nice run again. They've had success with the running game. Tutu Atwell slot left. We're keeping an eye on him. Can they get him the touches? Use that speed. Hawkins, an effective catch and run, and the Cardinals have moved into Miami territory. Who's the ball all the way to the Miami 37? Hawkins again, spinning. Stiff arm, knocks a man to the ground. He stays wide and gives, you know, a rare inside run from Hawkins. Usually we're seeing, seeing him on the outside stretch play, this time in his own reading. Hawkins back in the game, nowhere to run, but he spins free. Hawkins has the corner. Touchdown, Louisville. What a run. But watch how Miami takes it away. They're anticipating it. He's got nowhere to go. So instead of guiding outside, he bounces it all the way back. It gives you an idea about his vision and also how explosive he can be in pulling away from Amari Carter in this defense. And they do run a play. And the fourth down carry is a first down. Hawkins knocked down. He was thinking about... A touchdown. Well, Louisville is really, they don't have a ton of penalties, but the ones they have had really self-destructing their own offense. Hawkins with the first down run just barrels into the secondary and gets a whole bunch of yards and a touchdown. As you see him visit with his offensive coordinator, Mark Whipple, and here is Jamie and Hawkins breaking free and trying to win the race to the end zone and will 75 yards foot race the corners are playing man-to-man -man, so they get a late start you see him able to avoid DeMar Hamlin and then it's all about speed and J.D. and Hawkins has plenty of it and you see it's an inside zone play J.D. and Hawkins cuts it to the back side and then there's nobody there I and mean, there, there's absolutely nobody again the corners come late because they're man-to-man -man on those receivers a little rain had a garbage bag on clean now yeah he had the raincoat going and now a big play on the first carry for Louisville and JV and Hawkins. You go Hawkins here, third and two? No doubt about it. There he is, JV and Hawkins broke one tackle and sliced it back inside. He gave up the first down, got it back again. Up front, you're gonna see a lot of guys in the box, makes it tough to run the football, but all he needs is a crease. We talked about the speed and the quickness. He's got some strength to go with it. Some colleges that were recruiting him wanted them to change positions, but he was adamant that he was a quarterback, as this is Javian Hawkins, and some nice agility for a first down and a tough run. To go right back to his workhorse in, in Jadavian Hawkins. Nice run and keeping his feet moving. Javian Hawkins one more time. Boy, he hits the hole like a freight train at a first down. And the change of direction. I mean, the head is up where he can see. Nice block by Ford. And he's able to cut inside, then get right back outside, put some points on the board, and force uh, Sims to, to basically make a mistake trying to get his team back in it. Look at the patience from JV and Hawkins. Satterfield will punt the football away. They will run. Hawkins. Oh, boy. Javian Hawkins, my goodness. Down the sideline and a first down. Because Hawkins can give you headaches. About two or three Georgia Tech players miss tackles. 
The quarterback, Malik Cunningham, from the 30-yard line, a bounce give to the outside. A good run here with Cunningham blocking for his top back, the speedy J.V. and Hawkins. Dominant time possession. Notre Dame's defense has done a good job to this point. The left side run with Hawkins on the move past the 20. Hamilton brings him down around the 35. We saw him do this last week on a third and 18 play where they just handed it to him and he ran through the whole team. He has speed, he has acceleration. They're calling this series. Play action time. Wheeling out of the backfield. He's free. He's open. It's a touchdown for Hawkins. Let's see. No, he's down at the one. Just down at the one. To the faking back. This, oh. this is tough coverage and just a well-designed play. It's a good call. The knee comes down as he makes the catch there. Just shy of it. That was huge for this offense. Hawkins bounces outside. Hawkins looking for the pylon. He dives for it, and he scores. Angles, angles, you've got to take the right angles, but the problem is when JV and Hawkins has the football. He's haven't played a home game since late September against Miami, a loss 47-34. Hawkins, Hawkins, Florida State side of the 50, he may go. Hawkins all the way to the end zone. Touchdown Louis. And, and, and look at these guys. Look, look at them there immediately. That's J. Rob, Janarius Robinson in the backfield. But you can't go running back there like a blind bull in a butcher shop. You got to come under control at some point, especially when you've got a quick guy like J.V. and Hawkins that can change direction and take it all the way. And look at the speed down the sideline. Looked like authentic at the Kentucky Derby, the most recent winner. And this is out close to a first down. Four of six in the game on third down for Louisville. They're going to run it. They're going to get it. Down the sideline, Hawkins bashes into a man at the 12. Watch 74. The big tackle, Adonis Boone, way down the field to spring it. And then it's a whole lot more tacked on by Hawkins. And an outstanding athlete, too. It's a pretty good combination, pretty dangerous combination. Here he is again. Second and goal. Hawkins to the end zone. Touchdown, Cardinals from 10 yards away. Third and long now after the sweep only got him a couple. Little option play here. Here's the cutback, and Hawkins fighting through for the first time today. To the sideline, but in this case, it gets Jamie and Hawkins one-on-one, -on -one and he just cuts back and is able to get upfield. Yeah, when you go back and watch film on that one, you're like, come on, man. <laughs> Here's the give, and look at Hawkins. Here's Javian Hawkins. Lots of speed. He's got one angle to beat, and he will. Touchdown. 90 yards. Well, they call this one a buzzer beater. Maybe a full court buzzer beater. Javian Hawkins just does a, he just finds space. Virginia Tech's got everybody back to prevent it, and he goes up the sideline. Cunningham to throw on the second down play. If he can. Gets away from the pressure and got it to Hawkins. Is it complete? Yes, at the 20. I was not at the 56 game. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. Yeah, it's all alleged. Here's Cunningham. Got to get the first down, if nothing else. Wide open is Hawkins. Just scrambles and scrambles, but watch the path of Hawkins out of the backfield. He's starting to block. He sees his quarterbacks in trouble. Lee Cunningham just flicks it out there, finds his running back.